Good afternoon, my loves. Welcome back to Maverick Baking. Welcome back to another earth-shaking chocolate review. <laughs> Your life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same again, for better or worse. Let's find out. I bring this to you in nothing but the midst of pure chaos. I am poised in such an uncomfortable position. I have evidently run out of daylight. It's January, so it's far too cold for this t-shirt, and I'm currently procrastinating from packing two suitcases to go back to Italy because I got stuck in Scotland for another week. So life is good. <laughs> but today I could not pass up an opportunity to film something for you because Cadbury released for us this month in light of hashtag Veganuary, the Cadbury plant bar. My hopes aren't high either. <laughs> so the Cadbury plant bar is Cadbury's finally released vegan chocolate. Galaxy put out vegan chocolate years ago. Other companies have been doing some kind of, you know, non-dairy chocolate for years. So why it took Cadbury until 2021, I will never know. So the Cadbury plant bar is made with almonds. That's what's going to replace the kind of creaminess of the milk, hence why it's not called dairy milk. It's just called plant bar. I don't know about you, but it sounds like a millennial coffee shop or something that you would feed to dogs to make their teeth feel better. The plant bar comes in two different exotic planty flavors. One being made with almonds, smooth chocolate. The other made with almonds, salted caramel. I'm going to be tasting both of these flavors for you guys today to see if they are worth your money. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the kind of standard smooth milk chocolate Cadbury plant bar. And the ingredients inside these bars isn't too far off of a Cadbury's dairy milk, except for, you know, the, the dairy and the milk part. We can expect sugar, cocoa butter, almond paste, cocoa mass, rice extract, an emulsifier, and some flavorings. <sighs> the rice extract is the part that scares me because typically whenever people add rice powder, rice milk, rice full stop to chocolate, it adds nothing but chalky putridness. <laughs> but we can hope for the best. So inside the bar, I must admit, it smells like advent calendar chocolate. It does not smell like a Cadbury's product at all, really. They have given us some kind of difference with the design of the bar than would normally be given. So it doesn't say Cadbury on top. It just has some pictures of some very abstract corporate art leaves. <laughs> there is no detectable snap. And let's see how it is. Interesting. Creamier than a standard Cadbury's chocolate. Whether that's because dairy milk tastes like chocolate flavored chalk nowadays or not, I don't know. <laughs> the chocolate definitely does have a relatively decent amount of creaminess, especially considering there is rice in here. Delicious. You can taste the almond, I'll admit. I am someone who, you know, is not allergic to nuts. I'm someone who enjoys the flavor of that. But if you are someone who doesn't like nuts and you're looking to cut down on dairy or things like that, this definitely has a vague nutty flavor. It also tastes like there's a lot of kind of vanilla flavoring in there as well because there isn't a lot of chocolate going on here. Smooth, very, very, very sweet as sugar is the main ingredient. Does it taste vegan? No. Does it taste good? I don't really know. It has absolutely zero discernible aftertaste. It doesn't taste like chocolate. It doesn't taste like nuts. It's just like you've had something vaguely sweet, like a piece of fudge or toffee in your mouth. It's fine. It's definitely not the first vegan chocolate I would recommend to you, considering there are more and more fantastic dairy-free and vegan chocolates appearing every single month. And it doesn't taste like a Cadbury's product. So I'm not really sure who this is aimed at, to be perfectly honest. So I'll give this one a very bog standard three out of five. Moving on to basically the same thing with some caramel pieces in it. We have the plant bar made with almonds, salted caramel, from which we can expect sugar, cocoa butter, almond paste, cocoa mass, rice extract, glucose syrup, salt emulsifier, flavoring, and sunflower oil. So very, very similar ingredients list, just with some salted caramel flakes through it. And again, no discernible smell. So again, we're dealing with a pretty standard chocolate bar. They have molded it quite nicely. It does have a decent shine to it, even if it doesn't snap very well. I'm not sure if this horrific lighting I've subjected you guys to will actually pick up the little flecks you can see in the chocolate there, but there are some sort of shadows of bits in there. What I'm hoping is that the salted caramel will actually taste like little caramel or toffee pieces rather than like fake Twix caramel kind of flavoring. And again, apologies for the lighting. I'm not sure if this will pick up, but there are some little chunks, very dark chunks 
of that caramel stuff in there. Let's see how it tastes. Honestly, slightly better than expected. For once, because it's very uncommon, <laughs> the salted caramel does actually contain a good amount of salt. You bite into those crunchy pieces and you get a fairly natural burnt sugar flavor with a nice generous pinch of salt in there. And that's exactly what you want from salted caramel. Often it's all flavoring and way too sweet with no actual salt added because they're scared to make it too salty. This one definitely has discernible salty bits, which we like. The texture does add something quite interesting. Again, the almond flavor is quite prominent. It's, it is a nutty kind of flavor you get as soon as you're eating it and the chocolate itself tastes non-existent, basically. It, it's, like I said before, it's almost like an almondy fudge or something like that with some crunchy pieces in it. There's very, very little chocolate going on here. It's just sugar and vague creamy nutty stuff. Delicious. <laughs> this one I do prefer because it does have a bit more intrigue with the salted caramel pieces and a bit more textural joy. Also, it's something that is a bit kind of more unique than just a standard plant-based bar. So if you are into salted caramel or into crunchy things or into nutty chocolate, something like that, this one is a bit more interesting. Do I love it? No. Will I rush back to buy it? No. Will I ask another rhetorical question for the purpose of furthering this video's narrative? Maybe. <laughs> but I'm afraid I still can't really give this bar anything more than a 3 out of 5. It's just not that exciting. While it's better, it's it's very blah. If you guys have tasted any of the Cadbury plant bars or if you are taking part in some dairy or animal product reduction this month or you're taking part of Veganuary as a whole this month, do let me know. Unfortunately, with the state of my life this month, it's not something I'm going to be able to bring you guys consistent content with, but do feel free to check out the Veganuary vlogs and recipes from 2021 and 2020, as both had the amount of kind of work and recipe testing that you all deserve, which I would not be able to deliver at the moment, but... We'll definitely see if we can get back on there next year. In the meantime, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate it so much as always. I hope you're doing well. I hope 2022 is treating you okay so far. <laughs> and I will see you for the next one.